We are back live here in Toronto, Canada, and we've got a great matchup here for you. Match number two on MLG ESPN Saturday night between Instinct and Carbon. We see a lot of new faces on these teams from just two events ago, and we're going to see how it all plays out right here, right now. Both teams with the same goal in mind, and that's to win Toronto. Fruk, right here, we got the third-seeded team, Instinct, facing off against the only team that didn't make a roster change coming into Toronto, Carbon. Now, let's talk about Instinct. They're the team in red. They're the higher seed. Now, the new captain of the squad is Roy. That's him in your upper right. His twin brother, Lunchbox, the only original member of Instinct left on the squad. And they have two new faces. Walshy, the former captain of Final Balls, Final Boss is now there, and, of course, one of my favorite players to watch, a player on the rise, Soviet. All right, well, they're a brand-new team, but here are some of the key things that they're going to need to do to win this match. First of all, they need to win the Team Slayers. They need to be aggressive and just out-slay Carbon. Soviet, he needs to keep the team pumped, and he needs to perform himself. He's the X Factor for this squad, and he needs to out-slay the other team, and they need to stay aggressive, like I was saying before, and not worry about stats, just help each other out. Yeah, that's exactly right. I was talking to Walshy. He was telling me they are some of the best objective players in the game. They don't worry about stats. They are a selfless team. But on the other side of the, of the stage, we got the blue squad. It's Carbon. Now, these guys, they've been in the league for a while. The 2006 national champion. So you know they got the skill to win it. We'll see if they can get their stuff together here in Toronto. That's Shockwave, Ghost Ami, Karma, and, of course, the newest member of the team, Captain Anarchy. Well, these guys are some of my favorite to watch. And, again, for them to win this match, this is what you're going to be looking for. First of all, they need to stay calm. They need to stay giggly. They need to have that. They, they need to be happy during this match and stay, you know, just stay chill. They need to play smart. Don't go trying to no scope. Don't try to play like, you know, don't make a montage out there. Just play your game and overwhelm the new team. I definitely agree. I talked to the Carbon guys. They said they need to have fun. Karma said that is when we play our best. We'll have to see how they perform. Now, guys, it's ESPN Saturday night, and what do we have? We have special treats for all of our MLG fans, Canadian and American alike. And, of course, my friend who asked me questions on the ESPN chat from India. Now, the guy we're looking at right now, he's got a big Red Bull on his forehead. It's Walshy. Dave, how you feeling? Uh, pumped up. I mean, we have some of our best game types here. Uh, the only difference I might have possibly made is not had Guardian Oddball and would have chosen uh, Onslaught Flag. So if they beat us this round, they deserve to win. All right. Well, big words from Walsh. Now, Walsh, you're on a brand new roster, and you've got a man of a familiar face behind you. Tell me, how does it feel to be playing with your new team and your new coach, Triple X? Feels good having someone uh, older than me on the team for once. <laughs> but uh, he's uh, he definitely does a good job of keeping the team pumped up, and uh, we're just working very well together. It, this team feels perfect. All right, well, we're excited to watch you guys get into it. Walshy, take off the headset. Time to put on your headphones. We're going into game one. I can't wait. Winner's bracket, round three. Here we go. Instinct, the number three seed, versus Carbon, the number six seed. Team, capture the flag on the pit. Let's check it out. Now, Farouk. Walshy told me that they're the best objective team in the league now. They're selfless. They don't worry about stats. They're all about the caps. What do you expect to see this game? Well, I definitely expect to see when you're talking about these objective games, it's one of the things I've always always wondered about these games when they're when they're playing the objective games it's not about the kills you get it's not about the depths there's an objective there for a reason who cares about stats in this when you go uh under 13 or whatever positive 13 doesn't matter it's all about three flag caps or five flag caps whatever matt we're on all right well Farouk, right now we're taking a short break making sure everyone's headsets and televisions are working properly you know you got to go into the match with even playing field. We're going to take a short break here while the teams are getting set up. But now, Farouk, these guys are pumped. I'm pumped. ESPN Saturday night. Let's we'll stay tuned. Oh, never mind. We're coming back on. Game one is about to come on. We mean it this time. Capture the flag on the pit. Let's check it out. Pump it up. All right, we are going to get this one started with, let's check him out, right here. It's the man, it's Lunchbox. He's got the pretty hair, and now he's got some rockets. He's taken down, and we are going to go on board with Captain Anarchy. Captain Anarchy picking up a double kill, now going into the base. Takes out. He's taken out by Roy, so Instinct's going to have the power weapons once again. 
Captain Anarchy still dead, but we're going to stay on board with him because Nexi, I want to see how Captain Anarchy is fitting in with the team. The first or the last event, he kind of struggled. He did kind of struggle the last event, but that's okay. I think he's still learning how to how to merge with Shockwave and play with Shockwave because we all know Ghost Amma and Karma, they're absolutely ridiculous together. I think they're some of the best players in the league, but like you were saying, Captain Anarchy just has to get on their level and he will be, he'll soon enough he'll be on the level as the more he plays with his squad. All right, well, we're seeing a very impressive start right now. Captain Anarchy sitting on Needler's side of Carbon has the flag out. Karma was taken down. Anarchy wins his VR battle, and now Carbon, they're going in for the first cap, but check that out. Soviet takes him down. We're jumping on board with Soviet, the youngest player on Instinct, and one of my favorite players to watch. He's taking out. The flag is still out as Carbon is trying to score it. Let's jump on board now with Karma. Flag still down there for Carbon. Lunchbox trying to protect it here for the Instinct. Instinct is being forced to play very defensively this first couple minutes of the game. Look how they haven't even left their base yet. Carbon had a great start. Captain Anarchy picking up the rockets and pretty much clearing out the entire base of Instinct. Well, check this out, though. Instinct is now pushing in on the Carbon base as Lunchbox is taken out, but Roy is there as the flag is now out in the hands of Walshy. Walshy and Roy working together. Roy with one of the best battle rifles in the league. He's going to work now, sneaking up behind Karma. It looks like two are down for Carbon. Now they're all respawning. Shockwave picks up a clutch double kill. That's going to stop the flag. Shockwave picking up a double kill. He had he had a pretty poor performance last event. Um, him and Anarchy total went negative 185 over the Orlando tournament. Yeah, you know, Shockwave really struggling so far in Halo 3. Like, from what I've watched, I'm not really impressed. But after talking to Karma and Ghost, they said he's really been working on his game. He's putting in the time. Shockwave wants to be the winner, the national champion that he was in 2006. And he's on a killing spree now. I also got a chance to talk to Shockwave, and he said he spent weeks perfecting his individual game, and I think it's going to show. All right, well, we'll have to see how it pays off right now. Carbon back on the offensive after Instinct had them trapped in the base for just a moment. You know, we're three minutes into the game, and I thought I was going to see two flag caps already. Well, in about ten seconds, you're going to see a fresh rocket up and all four members from Instinct are down. Captain Anarchy running the flag and I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Carbon's able to grab a fresh rocket well, after this. Ghost Ami's got the sniper rifle watching his back. It looked like the flag was stopped. Captain Anarchy stopped. But check out Ghost going to town and Roy is there to put him to bed. Karma and Shockwave, the last two members alive for Carbon. Is, Let's jump on board with Karma. Is this the second time Roy stopped the flag caps? Well, Lunchbox and Roy were definitely in there for the first time. Lunchbox goes down. Karma's still alive over here on the sword side of the map, but he's not really doing anything except trying to protect his flag. Those two shots just barely missing Walshy, and now Walshy's got the flag out. Karma trying to get into position to stop him. But here's Lunchbox. Check out Karma going for the no scope, but no. Soviet and Lunchbox are going to shut him down as Walshy, with no shields, continues to move the flag across the needle side. Well, Instinct did a great job focusing on Karma there, knowing he was the biggest threat for that flag cap. And Walshy, look at him, he got the flag all the way across to the other side of the map. All right, well, here goes Walshy, and now that is the first cap for Instinct. It took four minutes, but here they go. They're getting it started. Walshy, the newest member on Instinct, he is extremely excited to be playing with his new squad this event. You're going to see how it all plays out. Do you guys play as close to the screen as Walshy does? I wish I could. I've wonder, always wondered how, what the kind of viewpoint you get when you play that close as far as opposed to far back. I think that'd be a great question for his next interview. I want to know the same question as well. Like, well, I sit a little bit farther back, but then again, my stats aren't anywhere like his. So, you know, maybe sitting up close to the screen helps him. I think it's just really the natural ability that he has. Right, right. All right, well, check us out. We're here in the bottom left corner. What's up, Joe, our cameraman? Making it all happen here on ESPN Saturday night. Right now, we are watching as Walshy and the rest of Instinct are now pushing in on the carbon base. Check out Walsh, not backing down with half shield. He even poked out when he was doing a reload, and he is playing extremely aggressive. That is what he said his team likes to do. They will not back down. They don't care about dying. They just want to keep their opponent off of their game. And it makes sense. Look how great their defense is. And right when the time is right, Walshy pulled the flag while carbon was on spawn and capped it easily. All right. 
right, well, Lunchbox doing some dirty in the base. The flag is out, but Instinct not going to be able to do much with this one. We got Roy, though, with the sniper rifle in the car and base. He's getting spotted from behind by Captain Anarchy and Karma. He's going to be taken down.